Hey guys, welcome back to another video and hope you are okay on that side of the screen. So I've got a couple of videos to do here today on my <laughs> free time and I've got a few products here. Some of them really, good, uh, really great sorry, and one of them really bad, at least for my needs, really bad, but uh, I will share that with you in a second. Uh, first of all, we are going to start with uh, one of these, uh, the Samsung Evo 840. Uh, SSD. So this is my third uh, drive of Samsung, this particular model. I have a box somewhere around here. This was my first or second one and the other one will be somewhere around there. Um, well, doesn't matter. Uh, this one actually will be used um, as a boot drive for my wife's iMac and I will do a video about that on next couple of days or next week. Um, if you want to watch how this drive uh, works as a boot drive for a Mac, I just did a video last week. I will try not to forget to post the link here. If I do, I apologize. Just ch search the channel and you will find it there. Uh, so what we're going to do is just a quick, uh, really quick unboxing because hard drive uh, doesn't have much to see. Uh, and then we will make some speed tests uh, on my main PC. I don't need to plug this one in because I'm using one for uh, more than a year now uh, on my main machine. So let's just open it up. It brings the usual manual and license agreements and uh, warranty and so on and so on. So and then it brings a the Samsung software, the Magician uh, software, which actually. I just downloaded it from, from the website, I will not be using this uh, at all. And the most important, which is the hard drive itself. Uh, so, this is a well-known hard drive. And uh, in my opinion, price, point and performance, one of the, the, the great SSDs that we can have at these days. I remember that the first one that I bought cost me the same size, this is a 250 gigs as you can see here. Uh, the first one that I bought costed me about 200 euros. Uh, this one here just a little above uh, 100 euros so the prices are coming down more and more and more and um, they're getting more affordable for us to, well, to use them and I'm, ve I'm very satisfied to be using mine uh, as I said for the last year or so as a boot uh, drive with my software installed and um, giving me great speeds, it's not crazy speeds as we see sometimes in some systems especially uh, on Mac systems with the new PCI SSDs uh, but to be honest uh, for the real world applications that we use uh, more than enough for me and probably more than enough for uh, many of you that are watching this uh, video. So, uh, there's nothing else that, <laughs> that we can show uh, about this drive. What we're going to do is, I'm not going to plug this one in, we're going to go to my uh, screen and we can see um, just a quick uh, just a quick look at the speeds that you get out of this drive uh, on the Blackmagic design. Uh, on my system which is connected in SATA tree uh, directly to the motherboard, in my PC, Windows PC and uh, once again if you want to take a look how this performs inside of one of these things which I have another one here to unbox and show you next uh, if you want to see how this drive performs inside of a USB 3 case which I'm really happy with this one and I just ordered another one um, once again, go to the video about um, the Mac Mini booting off an external SSD and you will find the info and a lot of tests. It's a 46 minutes video, I don't want to take as much with this one. So let's go straight to uh, my screen over here. And as you can see, I've got the Samsung Magician uh, software here uh, opened and giving me some information saying that my drive is genuine. genuine. Uh, which of, <laughs> if you try to, to monitor or the drive, it will give you it will give you nothing. So here it is, uh, almost or more than a year now of usage, and it says that I've written four uh, and 
four terabytes of, of data, it's fine, and HCI uh, mode activated, and so on and so forth. And there, there are, um, there is a performance test here that you can uh, that you can make, but uh, oh, well, there's there's a lot of options: performance benchmarks, optimization, firmware update, and it says that this is the the most updated firmware. Uh, OS optimization, and then there's the over provisioning. Mm, yeah. Uh, yeah, this is to optimize the, the, the life of the drive, at least what it says. What I do is I keep mine always on the, on the standard configuration. So, uh, And then there's the rapid mode, which I don't use. Rapid mode basically will use your will use basically your uh, RAM to uh, speed up the, the to speed up the drive. So it will not be exactly a RAM disk, but we'll use the RAM as a cache uh, to speed up uh, your drive. It's it's a bit dangerous because uh, if you lose power at some point, you will lose all that data that is being written on the RAM cache. But uh, for me, it would be no worries. I've got two UPSs on, under my desk. Uh, one to <laughs> to take manage of the most uh, power uh, drawing units drives my main PC these two monitors the other one is just holding the up ah, and now my wife's iMac is connected to that one as well uh, and my Mac Mini with this monitor is connected to the other one as well so uh, I wouldn't have a big problem but uh, well, we never know. so I don't use it I just use it as a standard. Uh, also, before we go to the speed tests, uh, we all know that the SSDs are uh, damaged, if I can say so, uh, by writing to it. They have a limited time amount of, of, of writing, which is huge. If you search for the lifespan of, of uh, uh, SSDs, and you will find that easily on Google, uh, you'll see that it's a lot. But if we can uh, treat them right, you, you will have the drives for long, long years, uh, except if it, there's an accident and, and the drive goes away. Uh, but just to show you that, um, so I've got all my things on the SSD, all my apps that I use on the SSD, and then I've got one drive to export. This, these are all uh, regular uh, drives, no, um, no SSDs, they are uh, 7200 RPM drives, one for export, one for import, and one for temporary files which I call it backup, but it's not a backup, my backup is uh, on the data, on my network drives, uh, right over here. So that being said, let's go and select our drive, and we're going to do to this drive over here, and speed test, and these will be the speeds, uh, they will fluctuate, bear in mind that I'm using the most um, heavy bench, which is 5 gigabyte, uh, 5 gigabytes or 5 terabytes, I'll check that in a minute. Um, so it will fluctuate, um, and there we go, down, and then it will go above, but uh, so for these, these speeds we are not looking at 700, 800 as we, are look, as we look uh, on the PCI SSDs that we see on new Macs. Uh, MacBook Pros, new Mac Pro, and, and so forth. Uh, but to be honest, when I open an app or uh, when I'm working, and as I said, I don't try to drive to this drive. Well, at least um, I write to <laughs> to these, and this one is mostly to read. And this speed over here to read, it's instantaneous. So, uh, well, we can stop the test now. And um, I'm going to finish the video. Guys, if you have any questions about this, uh, this drive, in my opinion it's a great drive, very reliable, uh, speed, uh, and you just watched the, the, the speed test that I made, but for the speed, uh, I think it's more than enough than we need for uh, real work applications to open instantaneously. Uh, of course, we always want more and more and more, <coughs> sorry, but um, this is fine, and it's at the price point that I think it's uh, very fair, and hopefully they will come down and down and down, and we can get more of these in the future, as we do 
have our traditional hard drives. And um, this is it, guys. So, hope you enjoyed. If you did, thumbs up and subscribe the channel. Really helps out and motivate to make more videos for you. And we will be back, we will be back soon with uh, some interesting uh, overviews of another project that I have here. Bye bye. My name is Alberto George, and thanks for watching. Hey guys, so just a few more seconds of your attention. I really apologize, I did make a big basic mistake, a very stupid mistake. I had my microphone that you see here for the last four videos that I made and the mistake was I forgot to plug it into my camera and I just realized that on the last uh, video where I did the the review of the EZCast, which is a product, but it doesn't matter. You already watched the video probably if you didn't uh, just browse the channel. And uh, the thing is, I cannot afford to make the all four videos again. <laughs> uh, I will not have the time for it, but I would like to apologize for the crappy sound that you will hear, which is from the camera itself uh, instead of the microphone. It was a really basic and stupid mistake having the microphone plugged in for all the videos and the end of the microphone not plugged into my camera. So once again guys, i really sorry for that and um, hopefully you enjoy the content of the videos even if the sound is really crappy, at least I, I don't like it. And as soon as I placed the, the, the card inside my computer, I watched and, and heard the sound and didn't like it. So uh, don't want to take more of your time, sorry about that. I will try not to forget that for the next time <laughs> I record the video and uh, hey, it happens. If it was for a client, it would be unforgivable. Uh, if it is for my channel, it's on my free time. So I have this uh, flexibility and even though I don't like crappy sound on my videos, uh, I will upload them as they are and hopefully you will find the content useful and hopefully you can apologize me. If not, this videos, these four videos deserve, just for the sound quality, a thumbs down and, uh, well, it's it's a mistake we do in life and <laughs> this is one of them, not very, um, very critic, but um, it ruined my audio. So, apologize for that once again, guys, and I will try not to forget next time. So, bye-bye.